I hate to use the term the best with anything, and I get annoyed with people who fraudulently use the term the best tool, the best sander, the best sweeper, or anything else you can think of. But I will say when you figure the cost versus the quality, this has to be the best wood preservative for soft woods. I'm Scott Bame, they call me the old farmer. Before I get started, if you could help, it would be greatly appreciated by subscribing, hitting the bell, leaving a comment, and sharing with others, it will help immensely. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that we may get the pittance that YouTube doles out so that we can cover expenses. We've already had to replace a camera and now we have to replace a tripod. Also, Maggie, the farm dog, when she first arrived, knocked the editing computer onto the floor several times too many by running into the cord. It wasn't on purpose, but it did happen. Now the computer is starting to fail. Instead of a laptop, I will be getting a tower. All this is just part of life. But with these new minimums from YouTube, it hurts to have to swallow all the replacements the new tools reviewed, and all the time in making the videos. Mrs. Old Farmer and I are retired. We don't need to make a living off of YouTube, but expenses covered would be nice. So if you could help out, thank you. And to all those who have already bellied up to the bar, thank you so very much for your help. How often have we heard the term the best applied to something, and when we buy, we find too often we have been bitten, conned, or taken advantage of with pretty much junk. A few years ago, I ran across Noah Bradley's YouTube channel, and one day he talked about this wood preservative that the National Park System uses on their picnic tables. To me, this is a pretty strong endorsement. Then he proceeded to give the formula. It's cheap and easy. His video talking about the mixture is listed below along with the recipe. After watching the video a couple of weeks later, I used it on some pine for raised beds. Raised beds are very hard on wood. I used untreated wood and applied two coats of the mixture to the boards before assembling. After I assembled the beds, I dabbed some more over the angle irons and screws, places where water could leak in. Let's see how well this preservative works. This is about four years ago. I have done nothing more to the wood. Since there is boiled linseed oil in the mixture, the sun has darkened the wood. The 4x4 raised bed boxes in front have just been coated only a few days ago. You have been watching me coat the boards. There is no deterioration in the wood after four years. They are as solid as the day I got the boards, which were standard pine boards 8 feet by 1 inch by 12 inches wide. I let the boards acclimate for a couple of weeks in the garage before I applied the preservative. The wood has been left exposed for 4 years. Again, I have done nothing additionally to help protect in any way whatsoever. The formula is in the description below, but it's simple. I'll tell you how I mix it. I use an old 8 quart slow cooker and melt a quarter pound of paraffin. Then I add a pint of boiled linseed oil and stir it in. I add one gallon of mineral spirits, or as some would call it, petroleum spirits, and stir it in until it's blended in thoroughly. Just to let you know, mineral or petroleum spirits have nothing to do with ghosts. I apply two coats while still hot on the boards that have already been cut. After adding the hardware, I then apply an additional coat over the angle irons and screws. Water still beads up on the wood. I remember building some raised beds at our first house and used barn paint colored close to the color of wood. A couple of years later, the paint was peeling and the wood was becoming punky. 
If there's anything that will work better, I have not seen it. And if there is one, it will not be as cheap as this mixture. So let me say for the price, a nice qualifying statement I might add, this is the best wood preservative for soft woods that I have ever seen. So use that old slow cooker, buy one at a garage sale or a secondhand store because I don't think you will want to reuse the slow cooker in the kitchen ever again. Let me remind you to be extra careful. Keep flame away from this mixture and wear the appropriate safety clothing because with wax, if you get some on you while it's hot, it will burn you and it will not come off until it cools. From the results I've gotten from this mixture, I strongly recommend it to you. Well, this is the old farmer, Scott Bean. Be well, be safe. Don't forget to click like and click subscribe on the Old Farmer YouTube channel. And thanks again for watching. Bye. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.